All right, so let's let's for now just we'll kind of table that for future discussion. We'll move into um, tech stocks for today. So our shot call yours was between 90 and 117 on TQQQ, which has definitely panned out. Um, mine was 90 to 110. I will point out my range was narrower, so I think that gives me the win on this one. What? That's because you you cheated and you went after me and you you took the prices right. Well, maybe Act. next time you should let me guess first. Well, oh, guess what? I'm going to. I am okay. totally going to make you guess first. All right. So yeah, so this is the TQQs, right? And um, we're zooming in there and. This box that I have here uh -huh. kind of represented the whole what's the high end, what's the low end, and um, and you can't quite see your date range here. Is this just the last five day, last five days? Pardon me. I'm just the box is uh, covering. Are you? Can you see the box? Okay. Yeah, I can see the box. I'm just I can't read the date range. Oh, this covers all the way back to like uh, the five. So this box. Okay, this is a one month box. Yeah, this box is kind of representing the resistance. Uh, that we are facing here at this value, yep. And then uh, kind of the lower end of the market. I, this is probably off just a smash, but I mean the lower end right here, which is wow. kind of like the low part of the most recent trading. And yep. then uh, and this is the guidance from a little looking a little further out than um, you know looking down the trend line of the lows this is a, this is kind of like the low trend line right here right so yeah yeah so yeah right there i mean i'm gonna i guess i i'm giving you the win dude you're getting would, the win i mean it was in both our ranges pretty much dead center yours was just a wider window <laughs> yeah well you know I me mean, uh the windows sometimes can be a little wide depending on how i'm looking at these the long-term channel charts uh, the wave of action on the moving averages, mm -hmm. and then the threshold of the of the lower of the higher lows moving up right. the, the line to trade. So just the last line. five days, we're looking yeah. at kind of like a reversal where there was that that dive on Thursday, and then a pretty decent rally today. It was like five percent or so. Yeah, yeah, and I think that's just pretty. I mean, you know, if you really look at it. It's probably still oversold, and I, you know what? I had my stop set because I was worried about it heading south. And um, yeah, I think you're talking about like a oh no, that was in, ninety eight dollars, right? Yeah. Right. So right there, ninety seven forty seven. I was gone. I'm gone. Oh. No, it's fine. It's fine because I have a a tremendous number of put puts out there okay. at lower. At values that I actually uh, sold a thousand shares uh, on the on the on the on the stop out, uh -huh. uh, but I ended up with um, a higher. I still ended up with more money than I did when I had the shares. How right, about so that? The official guidance is sell low, <laughs> buy high, but sell puts on the way down. Yeah, exactly. Gotcha. That's me. That's how I, that's how I catch the wave, right? I, yeah, yeah, exactly. The waves the waves are always lagging. So right. I, anyway, so that's the deal. 